Good luck. Okay, good. I get white. So this means I have some chance of... Um, let's see. How did this go again? Alright. So I had something prepared. Um... Unfortunately, we're having to immediately deviate from that. That's okay. Um, I was a bit nervous about switching my preparation anyway. Uh, so yeah, I am somewhat aware of what's going on here. This is a very sharp, quick attack. Um, And I get to decide between third file, fourth file, or opposing rook. Um, what am I going to select here? Um, I guess I could fall back to... Well, hang on. What do I play here? Um, yeah, I'm going to switch back to Opposing Rook, which I had earlier study of. Um, and we'll see how I fare with this. I see my opponent's name in red. I hope his connection's okay. Okay, am I out of Discord? I am out of Discord. Alright, good. So I'm not going to get randomly pinged during the game. Uh, make sure my phone is muted. Okay, so, yeah, um, <laughs> is one king move appropriate here? Um, or do I, I mean, breaking the file open seems extremely dangerous but I need to give my rook breathing room. Opening the file does not give my rook breathing room. Um,
I'm not remembering things very well, but um, I think this is playable. This is definitely not a good sign, but um, it is a good it is enjoyable that I get to play against uh, such an experienced opponent in this extremely sharp stuff. Um, so, yep, this is this is good. Um, all right, so now if I try to break on the file, how much trouble am I in? I'm not sure. I mean, I have to try the break at some point, but also I don't want to lose my rook, so I think one king move is necessary. Um, and then I could move my silver, although this enables a pawn drop right in front of my knight. So yeah, I'm more than a bit nervous about central file or uh this file uh fourth file break um um right all right so we've played opposing rook um do i play this pawn forward no no that would be bad There's too much to know. There's much too much to know. So my castle's inadequate. Um, What am I so afraid of? I'm not sure. Okay, I might regret this move later, but um, right now it's the correct thing to do. And the reason it's the correct thing to do is because I'm spending three minutes thinking about it. I am playing my best. 
it's important to play my best even if I have lots and lots and lots and lots of self-doubts. I can't let that hold me back forever. I need to have some degree of confidence in my play um, if I ever want to play good shogi. Now, I won't get argue that like opening study would help a lot with that. Um, it might. I'm so confused. So I take the pawn like I've been intending to. Things get messy very fast. Um, like he's got a rook drop here, a rook drop there. I don't have counters for everything. Um, I'm still nervous about all these tactics he can initiate in the center too. I need to start to castle because like this is uh, I'm asking for trouble. Oh, but now, now I've uh, loosened this center pawn, which is not great. I've conflated both opposing rook with my fourth foul rook stuff. I've, I've confused quite a few different openings all at once here, and this is horrible. Um, and we'll find something. We have to. Necessity is the mother of all invention. And boy, are we in need now. Um, okay, so I'm going to castle and pretend that things are okay. Right. I saw that earlier. It's impossible for me to keep track of everything. Um, well, this is crazy. What do I make of this move? Um, I have no idea. Okay, we're going to pretend I understand what's going on here, which could be quite perilous. But again, I need to have some confidence in my play if I'm ever going to become a good shogi player. So um, this is me exercising confidence, perhaps foolishly. Um, Oh, that is clever. Oh, I tried to see that. I did not see that. And that hurts a lot. Um, okay, so this is a really pitiful square for my rook. Um... Okay, so we're down a bishop and a silver. That's okay. There's no need to panic yet. We can still play shogi moves. We can still make threats. It's going to be painful. I'm probably lost already, but that's okay.
I understand that typically in my games, after the game, we do a post-game analysis. We'll do one here. Um, typically, I do take my chat out of emotes only mode. Today, there are multiple channels in which this game is being streamed. Um, I think after the game, I'm going to leave this chat in emotes only mode because there's just much too much to say about what happened here, and I'd rather hear it from my opponent. Of course, there will always be time to discuss this in Discord and other places. Um, I've probably spent dozens of hours studying openings even though my play doesn't reflect it. Um, so, I just need to redouble my study and uh, practice it against opponents um, like I was doing earlier. Uh, I just have not practiced enough, have not been serious enough in my study. So... Um, Well, serious is one thing, disciplined is another. So when you're studying, you need to move pieces on a real board and or have a real opponent helping you um, understand it. And I don't have a real board and I don't have a real tutor. Like. During some of my streams, people do volunteer to tutor me in openings, which is fantastic, but I don't have a dedicated coach, so um, so often my study is not completely focused, um, the same as if I'd been coached on things. It's great, though, like, during... Uh, I don't know, each Sunday I can submit games and get feedback one game at a time, but that's different than having a coach. Um, I don't understand this bishop drop. It has some intent. Oh, the intent's to hit here, right. So it's trying to defend the knight and hit here at the same time. Okay, that's what this move's about. Um, Interesting. This there this does allow me some very limited counterplay. Um, so maybe I should get that set up. for me to figure this out. Okay. I kind of want him to take this token. Although this is extremely dangerous. Yeah, he's not going to take it. I didn't expect that. And he would. Um,
り秒読みに入りますattempt to play actively against a, an opponent who is well known for playing actively albeit in chess and probably in shogi I'm just not entirely familiar with their shogi career but yeah in chess they play very actively all the time so um, yeah by trying to play actively I'm certainly asking for trouble here what I have figured out is if they take this, I can drop and drop here. And I'm also threatening to bring the rook up and over. So it's not hope is not all lost. Although this position is pretty painful. Also, I could just oppose the dragon here, which should be less confusing. Um, but that would be a very heavy attack. And I should prefer a light attack if one's available. Um, okay, so how does he shut down my attack this time? I don't even know yet. I'm getting to be impressed when it happens, and yet I know it's inevitable. Um, do I pawn drop before I try to bring my rook out? The pawn drop, gold takes, silver takes, dragon takes, I don't know. Pawn drop is the mo lightest way to continue my attack. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Right. So he builds a very solid castle. Um, so now we play the move of fate. So, like, my castle is extremely fragile at the moment, and I am moving my only defensive piece away from my castle. So, this is not going to end well. Um, right, so. Um, makes sense. Hmm. Wait. Well, no. He does not fall in for a tactic here. Um. Okay, we're going to defend the weak point of the castle and the other weak point of the castle uh, while trying to figure out how to start a counterattack in a very desperate situation. Um, <laughs> well, I almost hung my rook twice. Like, I keep considering this rook on 2-1 or 2-9. Um, that just loses a rook. So, it would be good if I do not play that rook losing move. Um, no matter how tempting it looks. There's a chance I still play it even after having said that, but um, 
Yeah, it would be good if I don't do that. Okay, well, that's amazing. That's some next level shogi right there. I'm not sure that it's sound, but it's kind of cool that that's playable. Um, so my opponent wants my knight. They don't have my knight. Um... My silver is extremely out of play here, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. Okay, what? Excuse me. Are we sure about this? This seems quite dangerous. I would not be so eager to jump into this position if I were my opponent. Yes, you get two generals for a bishop, which in theory is a positive thing. You're supposed to read this out before you play into it. Um, and they might have read this out, but I don't know. Okay. I'm playing quickly because I'm anxious and I'm losing. Um, and only one of those things I can I control. So, I guess my plan is to drop where my opponent wants to drop. Oh. I did not anticipate this. Shit. This is complicated. Um... Okay, I guess that really kills my attack, but um, gives me a piece that I sorely need to defend with, so we'll have an imagination about things. Maybe putting a lance on the center file could continue an attack somehow. It's not going to be easy. Um, I am extremely aware of lots of tactics he could try here. Um, I'm still convinced that with best play my position's lost, but I don't think this is easy.
Plus the bishop on the or the lance on the center file might not be very good because they can just pawn drop on it. Okay, taking a lance might not be their best play. Um. Jeez, well, how am I supposed to play this? very carefully and wisely alright we're gonna play my the best move I can think of this is the best square I can find for my lance I was aware of this possibility however I had some idea of what I wanted to do against it and I, at least one of those ideas involves something other than Nifu. Um, so. This is dangerous. We are playing with fire. But that's always been my element. So we need to light a fire here. We need to set the entire board on fire if anything positive is going to happen this game. Um, maybe taking the silver was a mistake. Um... Okay, that's confusing to me. <sighs> Jeez, what do I... How am I supposed to answer that? How am I supposed to answer that? This is perilous. I know I said things about lighting the board on fire, but I'm not sure that I really meant it. Um, because now he gets his horse in the center of the board, and unless I have a very good reply, I'm in trouble. I might have a good reply. We'll find out. Okay, this is not where I expected the knight to appear. There is definitely good reasons for the knight to be there, but that's just not where I expected to see it. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Good move. Um... Oh my god. So many good moves. I am overwhelmed. Um, the fuck am I supposed to do now? I mean, I get that my emotional support dragon wants to do something, but, um... Mm. 
I can't let this battery of pieces stay where they are. Wait, that's checkmate? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Is this really checkmate? Like, it doesn't make sense for me to grovel forever. So I need to actually call on this and see whether or not it's actually mate. And I have my doubts because my rook actually covers this square. Um... I have a decision. Um, doesn't feel like a decision, but it is one. I have to take that, right? We'll find out. Yeah, leaving a promoted piece right next to my king would be dangerous. I cannot consciously allow that to happen. Oh, I see the mate now. Right, so this compels me. Well, it's simply... Yeah, I see. Alright, good game. Well played. Jeez. Strong game. Llama Lord is a very strong opponent. Don't let him tell you otherwise. Uh... Good game. Nicely played. Uh, I did some extra opening preparation, but clearly not enough. Um, uh, what would you suggest? Um, so, I honestly am just like super confused. <laughs> But yeah, they played solidly throughout the game. I played my best, I think, but um, I am just at a loss. Oh yeah, yeah, good game, uh, the Llama Lord. I don't mean to draw you into protracted post-game analysis, it is pretty late. But um, if there's comments you're interested in sharing, by all means. Uh, maybe the push to 2-4, okay. So yeah, maybe, oh, well, we know what I'm looking at. Yeah, maybe this push could have been uh, the decisive factor. Ah, uh, yeah, could be. All right. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, potentially this whole concept uh, could have been the losing concept, just because I've not castled enough here. I've played too many games where I've not been active at all, and I know my opponent plays actively, but um, so I sought peace activity and got my king murdered, and that, that's okay. It's going to happen from time to time. Um... So, yeah. Um, clearly, this is a very strong opening, and people should study it. And I did make some effort to study this, but obviously not enough. And I think, um, I think we're well served in this tournament by having the stronger player advance. So, um, oh, you think this isn't a real thing? So, like, yeah, I don't know. It, it seems pretty strong. I, it certainly worked in the game. Um, but yeah, it's basically fourth file rook opening, but keeping the static rook instead. 
interesting. Yeah, so... Oh, fourth file against this might be the answer. Yeah, there's quite a few positions in these openings with like opposing rook or fourth file rook where the rook swings back and forth based on what the conditions are. And like, I keep telling all of my viewers that I'm a beginner and I have a quite a bit to learn. Um, but um, I think this just really solidifies the concept that like, I don't know opposing rook versus fourth file rook I try to play really simple openings, but uh, here I'm forced to play complex stuff. Shogi is a complex game, and I can't just simplify everything away, so I need to figure this out. Uh, we're trying to... yes. Uh, oh. Okay, so I've had quite a few extremely negative experiences playing fourth file rook um, in this sort of thing. But you're suggesting that this actually is beneficial if my rook is on the fourth file because this file opens up. That makes sense. So yeah. Um, so this is certainly one thing that merits further study. Again, um, I'm sure there are many people viewing this game. I know Zug was interested in live streaming it too. Surely there will be extended discussion about this on Discord. And the reason I'm leaving the channel in emotes only mode is because I'm not seeking a protected theoretical discussion with everyone. But yeah, I think this at least highlights points that I should be studying and better understanding. And I could look through my opponent's game history a bit more and watch them as they continue to play. And uh, as long as I keep watching strong games, uh, we'll find good ideas for future games. Um, okay, no, that's entirely understandable. It is quite late. Um, sure, thanks for the offer, and thanks for the game. Uh, have a good night. Yeah, so I'll do my own, uh, brief post-game analysis. Again, like, I'm confused, extremely confused as to what's going on. I've spent God knows how many hours studying openings, and I'm not looking to engage in discussion with every one of my viewers. Despite them knowing way more about openings than I know, I've spent a ridiculous number of hours studying openings, and my uh, the number of hours is not what matters. It's having a discipline and having a study and having a way of remembering things in a structure as opposed to just randomly looking at and randomly watching and not putting a structure behind it. So I need to have a better discipline about it. Uh, yeah, even after the opening, there were some interesting points. Um, although, like, we're never going to see this exact game again, uh, for better or for worse. Like, this is a really sharp point in the game. Um... Granted, I've already given myself a tremendous disadvantage, but this is still unclear. So, yeah. Um, there's a lot of sharp things going on in this game. Uh, yeah, I didn't really like my pawn drop, but already I'm in severe time trouble. Um... Like, if I had a lance, potentially having a lance and spearing this, uh, or skewering this dragon to the gold could be an idea. But if I had a lance, they'd probably just, like, drop a silver or a pawn somewhere on this file, and my idea would not work. Um, so possibly my silver drop was actually maybe the losing move. Like, this is an idea. There's way too much for me to analyze here. And, like, we're on move 40, when honestly, probably 10, 15, 20 moves ago, I fucked up. And, like, if I had a position that wasn't losing from the outset, um, uh, the ideas that I could find here could be advantageous for me to better study and understand. Um... 
here I think just the broader concepts are useful like okay yes I could take this lance and this lance could be very useful here I could like drop a knight this knight could be useful I could like maybe drop a pawn or a silver somewhere in there maybe instead of all of that I want a pawn drop back here um, I don't know like shogi is extremely complex and this is why I don't want to spend forever in theoretical debates with my audience right now because there's just way too much for me to break down and it is very late at night um, but yeah in hindsight I don't quite like my move there was still a lot of really complicated stuff going on here um, it was yeah it'll be interesting to see what all the comments are that people have in discord and such um, I'm not interested in a live argument with my audience because I know it'll go on for hours if not days so I think discord is a better place for this um, I appreciate like it's gonna be great that other people want to review this game as well this is a very very popularized game here uh, because this is round seven of a tournament where both my opponent and I had like a 5-1 result and um, yeah, we'll be reporting this result too and there are a few rounds to go uh, best wishes to my opponent in the rest of the tournament and um, yeah may our best uh, player win the tournament it'll be very interesting to see uh, the best player play against um, well if and when that happens um, uh, the prize I think is a chance to play against a real pro player which is extraordinary and clearly I am not ready for this yet and I've been saying such for the last few months and I'm still saying such I, I still need to get better um, so yeah may the best player of this tournament uh, get that opportunity that'll be fantastic um, yeah thanks to everyone for watching and have a good night